Hi, I'm Patu from Freeman Cal. Today, let's talk about how to pursue a science career in India. This is a question many parents ask um, when their child is in the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th standards. Many parents have asked me. And so I thought I'll make a video for two reasons. One, hopefully it may be of some help to parents. And also it would be a way for me to gather some information because I'm also looking at this as a parent because my uh, son who is in the, uh, who is just going to seventh standard, he's 12 years old. Uh, he also wants to uh, uh, do a career in science, physics, just like both his parents. Uh, well, that's what he wants to do now. Maybe he will get wiser uh, in coming years. Let's see. So, um, now when we think about science, we always think about uh, it as physics, chemistry and maths. But if you look at this document from the Department of Science and Technology, there are 216 research institutes in India. There are 66 research institutes just for agricultural sciences alone. So these are all places of uh, research and higher learning. Many of them offer um, PG degrees. Almost all of them will have a PhD degree. Some of them even offer a UG degree. So uh, depending on what areas your child is interested in or what you are interested in, you will have to explore more about them. I shall leave the link for this uh, file uh, in the description below. Sorry. So some caveats. I'm speaking more as a parent and uh, not as a person who has pursued this path. And this is only if the child is interested, obviously. Now, some practical truths. It is not a glamorous career. The science that you see in the movies, in the in the YouTube videos, or, or read about it in books, that's not how it works on a day-to-day -day basis. Day-to-day -day basis is extremely frustrating. Most of the time, nothing will happen. You have to be patient. It will take a long time. And uh, once you get into science, you become a student for life. There's no, um, no, you can't say I'm no longer a student. It doesn't work anymore like that. So, uh, for example, I finished my schooling in 1992 and I got my first tenured uh, salary, that is a, a proper position, not a temporary job, in February 2006. I would say uh, August 2006 when I joined IIT, but and, uh, and that many people would say that was quite quick. So, <laughs> it, is, uh, it would take a lot of time. So, you have to be prepared for that. And it's only for those who truly love science for what it is and not those who want fame or who want to become an influencer and you know that that doesn't work and there's very little money in there it has always been the case unless you are somebody who strives to be very very good the uh, a career in science will not pay typically well compared to a corporate job but that's life i mean you have to accept that you must try to get the highest degree in science, which is a PhD in a renowned instit uh, institute. Only then you you're, uh, you have a bright chance of a um, you know a fruitful career with money. Money is also important. There's uh, uh, you, you, there's no two ways about it. And when it comes to India, well-paying teaching come research jobs are hard to get. There are only a few of them but they're very hard to get. There's a lot of competition. And when it comes to non-teaching jobs, that is uh, research jobs, um, well-paid research jobs in India, I don't even know if they exist. They're, they're rare, uh, uh, that's a typo, sorry, rare. Uh, but I mean, <laughs> you have to be prepared for that. So which means that's why most people who don't want to teach, uh, they they prefer to uh, you know do research jobs elsewhere so you have to to understand and appreciate all these things what does the child need to do first of all start preparing for competitive exams as early as possible where when you talk about this in social media uh, especially in some a place like asa ideas for wealth many people will say oh let the children be children why do you want to push them you we have to push them the, the, all those people will not come and help our child get a uh, career we have to push our child whatever it is whatever thing that they are interested in they may be interested in singing dancing painting whatever it is we have to push them 
to excel in that area uh, we can't simply say no 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 let them let uh, nature take its course and so on that just i mean that i'm i'm sorry that's just uh, silly uh the child should have multiple options they can't say i will pass this exam and i will join that institute and uh, i will do everything just for that i mean that's that's not how uh, life works if you don't get that uh, if we don't pass that exam what are you going to do uh, there must be multiple options discussed with the parents and uh, they should not get fixated about what researches and what research they want to do for example i've seen people say i want to do research in this area of nanotechnology and i want to combine it and with quantum optics and so on they i mean they, they kind of look at uh physics in a, in a very very uh, under a microscope and say that's what i want you may not get it it's uh, it's very difficult to uh, exactly get what you want it i would say when you are starting out just love the subject love all branches of science all branches of uh, physics or all branches of chemistry whatever it is that you want to do and then uh, once you learn more about it the perceptions that you had earlier Uh, they will change uh, you must allow uh, some time for that to happen and when they change you yourself will decide what you want to do so it's better to uh, you know there you let life take its course and uh, uh, not get fixated about what you want to do because it's it, it, it could be disappointing now as i said don't draw conclusions on research based on popular science books or uh, you know or what they portray in the movies uh, it doesn't work like that science is all about rigor and it's a rigorous pursuit of truth you you cannot uh, you know read some popular science books and talk uh, it doesn't work like that you have to work you have to put in the effort you have to solve the problems you have to do the math you have to uh, run the experiments you have to create the experimental infrastructure whatever it is you have to push yourself to get that truth and you have in your reading it should reflect in your reading as well when you read you should ask why does this happen and then you should because most of the time when the teachers speak in uh, in school they only talk about definitions they talk about properties qualities they don't tell you why why does this happen when does this work when does this not work that's more important they don't tell you that you have to figure that out for yourself and that's what i mean by rigorous pursuit of truth that mindset for doing science uh, uh, should be uh, developed early on and today what is physics what is chemistry what is engineering uh, there are no boundaries anymore any anybody can do just about anything so you uh, that's why i said even if your parents push you to do an engineering degree because uh, on the safe side just on the safe side and not physics or chemistry you can still um, do that be happy there try to and uh, do research in it and connect it with the physics or chemistry or maths or whatever maths is anyway necessary uh, it's, it's it's quite possible to do that it's possible for you to branch out deviate so you, you don't your, your your life doesn't end just because you you do something that you don't like sorry now these are some pathways um, this is of course from uh, a physics perspective but it also applies to maths it also applies to science and also uh, i mean chemistry and also other sciences as well so after 12th standard you can like i said take up a be and then do a um, ms or a phd abroad i'm not sure if um, if four years undergraduate is enough for a phd in india i am not sure about it maybe they have changed the rules maybe if you if you can write gate and pass it you should be able to do a phd but definitely abroad in the us and uh, europe that is enough uh, four years of undergraduation is enough um iits run a btech on engineering physics and some of them do there are about three engineering physics uh, uh, courses in india i think and they also run a dual degree program a five year program on um, math chemistry and physics uh, not all of them but some of them do you have to see which of them do and then after that you can um, take up a phd 
for, of course, if you're not able to clear the IIT exam and, and join there, you have the option to join uh, the Indian Institute of Science Education Re Research. They have a BSMS five year program. There are three ways to join this ICERS. One is to uh, write their, their entrance exam, which they offer. The other is to, uh, of course, clear the JEE advanced. And the third one is, I have to, I can't spell this. Uh, which is uh, this is uh, the kvpy uh, fellowship the kishore, uh, kishore uh, vaigyanik protsahan yojana uh, so this is some kind of uh, stipend that they give you for doing your uh, bsc or msc depending on when you get it you can clear the in interview uh, in school i think after 11th or 12th i don't uh, I, I don't uh, uh, remember all the details but that's if you clear that you can join the ICERS and then after that you have to uh, you can take up a, an MS or PhD of course when you do the BSMS you, one year extra you have to do because uh, ideally if you do a BTEC in, I, in IIT uh, of, uh, that is with respect to physics you can in you say one year and you, uh, you can start your PhD but that's not possible for other branches I think uh, or at least for not all branches then there is the more conventional route of doing a BSc this is what I did. I did a BSc, then I did my uh, MSc in IIT and then I did my PhD also in IIT. Um, but when I did it, the uh, each IIT had their own entrance exam. Today you have for the MSc's you have something called the um, uh, joint admission uh, test. And uh, the problem with this exam is this has got certain requirements and not all um, BSEs offered by uh, different universities in India comply with these eligibility requirements. So you have to check that first. Um, and also, uh, at the level of teaching in the BSE colleges and uh, the kind of the milieu you have in the BSE colleges can be, uh, you know, <laughs> very difficult for a person who is, you know, interested in science to uh, to survive there. So that's also a problem. Uh, for example, uh, from what I see in IITs, uh, uh, students doing BSc in Kolkata, they, uh, um, so not 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 just Kolkata, at least the major uh, universities in West Bengal, they are able to do very well in the joint admission test and come to different IITs for their Max Physics and uh, Chemistry uh, Masters program, but. Um, I cannot say the same for other states. Uh, in, uh, it's I mean at least not in my experience. So you it's it's a it's a very tricky situation today. If you do a BSc, at least for doing Max Physics Chemistry, for other branches, I, th there may be other ways. Uh, at least for Max Physics Chemistry, it can be a very tricky uh, option to choose a BSc uh, because getting an MSc in IIT, if it is Max Physics Chemistry, is will, can be tough depending on the kind of uh, coaching you have in your institute or uh, how much you are able to motivate yourself and study and so on that's uh, that's that's an issue which parents have to uh, be appreciative of of course you can also do an msc somewhere else and then you can take about ms or phd in iit that is also possible and then you have to uh, uh, you know um, iits or any other research institutes and then you will have to go abroad for a postdoctoral assignment, etc., etc., and then you're, uh, you know, think about the next career. So the, these are the rough possibilities. It, uh, I mean, I wrote this from a physics perspective because that's what I know best. But uh, other branches also it, it reasonably applies. Of course, uh, for other uh, subjects other than Max Physics Chemistry, I would recommend students to. Uh, look at the kind of uh, research institutes that are there in India, find out what are the courses they offer, they, do they offer UGs. For example, the Indian St uh, Statistical Institute in Kolkata offers a BSTAT program. I don't, uh, it's very rare for a research institute to offer um, an undergraduate degree like that. So you have to look at it. Some offer a, a, a masters, some, some, almost all of them will offer a PhD program. But to to enter into a PhD program here or anywhere else abroad, what is the path that other students have chosen? That is something that you will have to uh, find out. I mean, I, I, you can even travel there, stay a couple of days, 
go to the department talk to a couple of students and find out what they did that will help you uh, you know uh, or what you can do is you can ask your uh, your your, um, your school teachers or maybe even your your, your bsc teachers or undergraduate teachers to invite one of these people to come to their institute and give a talk on how to uh, you know uh, pursue a career in, in that in that area and so on and so on. so those those are options that you have to uh, find out i think that i mean the parents and also the the child also has to do a lot of research before they pursue a career in research about their options available and uh, that's all i have to say about it if you have any questions please leave a comment